hi friends um, how are you doing welcome back to my channel again uh, today I have come up with one of the video which uh, I hope might be useful to uh, the graduate students and researchers while I was doing my uh, PhD at the University of Guelph um, I always used to struggle with the experimental unit um, uh, it was a topic um, it was something that always used to confuse me and now I think I'm a little bit more clear uh, that's why I decided to make uh, this video to uh, to you guys uh, so that it will be useful to you uh, so before uh, talking about experimental unit we need to know as a researcher we need to know what the treatment is uh, treatment is basically something that uh, researcher or the person who is doing some study administers to the experimental unit uh, we'll talk about experimental unit a little bit later on uh, but uh, treatment is something that uh, we want to look at uh, so for example if we want to look at um, the effect of two drugs um, on the side effect of those drugs then we will have to come up with certain treatment so that we can really look at the effect of the that drug so for example uh, we have two drugs drug a and b and if we want to look uh, the effect of that drug on the side effect then that a is one treatment and that b is one treatment and also we may be we may need to come up with another treatment uh, for example placebo which is like no drug uh, so um, just to compare one thing with the another so um, there will be few things which we compare with uh, and those will be called treatment and uh, again in agricultural experiments or plant experiment if you want to see uh, the effect of two fertilizers on the growth of vegetables so for example one of them is ammonium and another is phosphate and maybe you would have another uh, case where there is no fertilizer at all so in this case there are two treatment one is ammonium another is phosphate and you are looking at the vegetable growth and uh, just to compare this with uh, control then you might have a situation where there is no fertilizer at all so there could be three treatments so it all depends on what is your objective and what is your um, study uh, so let's go to the experimental unit um, uh, so whenever uh, you are doing certain experiment so for example in this case you are looking at the effect of drug a or drug b on the side effect of those drugs then you apply this drug to um, let's say animal or human and then each human or the group of human would be called experimental unit so basically experimental unit is what you apply your treatment to because if you want to see the effect of that treatment you have to apply it to something and that something is called experimental unit so for example in this case here there is drug a and drug b and you want to look the effect of these drugs are uh, side effect of these drugs on the mouse uh, on these mice so those mice would be experimental unit so for example uh, that experiment this mice uh, if you apply this drug um, if this mice this mouse alone is either um, applied to either drug a or drug b then this mice becomes experimental unit and that mice if that mice is applied to or if the the drug is applied to this mouse either a or b randomly then this mice because this mouse becomes an experimental unit so for example um here in this case drug a is applied to these five mouse these five mice and drug b is applied to these five mouse and these mouse are these mice are housed either separately or they are um, independent of each other so maybe this mouse is in one one case this mouse is in another case another case again another case then in this case its mouse its mouse becomes an experimental unit but in another case if the drug is applied to a group of mouse uh, let, let's say this is a case so if if a drug a is applied to this case this case but obviously we have to allocate cases randomly but uh, if the drug a is applied to this case this case this case this case this case there are five cases so and also if drug b is applied to that case that case that case that case that case uh, then um, case becomes an experimental unit because um, this case case one is a group of three mouse and each mouse this mouse is not 
independent this mouse could be dependent on that mouse that mouse could be dependent on that mouse and that mouse could be dependent on that mouse so they are not independent um, and they are obviously dependent on each other but this case is independent to the, this that's why it's each case becomes experimental unit so for example if you are trying to see the effect of diet then um, the 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 feeding behavior of this mice can have effect on that mice and also the feeding behavior of that mice can have that effect on that mice so this mice could just follow or maybe this mice is heavy and this mice is slightly light in weight and it it's more way it it's more feed and it uh, this my mouse it's less feed then that too can have effect but they are living in the same entity same house same case that's why um, to average the effect of these three mice we use cage as an experimental unit um, so obviously when um, when we are doing data analysis um, when each mouse is an experimental unit then the data from individual mouse should be used whereas when each case is an experimental unit the data from average of the case should be used for example average weight of the mouse average weight of those three mouse mice average pain score um, but sometimes in animal experiment because of the ethical concerns uh, we may not be able to find many animals so for example we are doing blood collection on this mouse and we may not be allowed to do blood collection on, on all of them then in that case we might use a it's um, it's mice as an experimental unit because we are collecting blood from each mice although that is not perfectly ideal in uh, in the perfectly ideal but um, that might be considered as long as you have plenty of sample and uh, as long as you have done you have considered all other issues so um, while understanding about uh, experimental unit we have to understand different scenarios uh, as i already mentioned uh, using individual animal as an experimental unit when individual animal is given separate treatment so for example as i already mentioned each mouse is housed in separate uh, cage or a separate house then each mouse or individual animal can be considered as an experimental unit whereas um, cage is cage or pen is considered as an experimental unit when that cage has a group of um, animal and and those group of animal or those individual case uh, has been uh, assigned to a particular treatment randomly and this is common in nutritional experiment and there is another scenario where breeding female where uh, the treatment is assigned to breeding female but the data is collected from her litter so uh, in that case we have to consider whole litter as an experimental unit because um, one litter might have five animals another litter might have six animals or two animals um, and in that case we use uh, breeding um, breeding females whole litter as an experimental unit um, and also in some cases where because in a in animal experiment uh, we uh, sometimes uh, use same animal to allocate into different treatments um, for example, um, those those ex kind of experiment are usually called Latin square design or crossover design, crossover experiment. And what we do is um, animal for a certain period of time for a week is uh, allocated to treatment one. And uh, then uh, next week they are allocated to treatment two. Next week they are allocated to treatment three in a random order. And in those case, um, animal for a particular period of time is considered as an experimental unit and there is another scenario which is called split plot design where um, uh, which uh, i hope is understandable in through this picture um the, there um, you have to um, uh, you have you might uh, have to allocate experimental unit in slightly different way uh, because there are two levels of randomizations uh, that are applied to assign experimental unit to treatment so if you see in this uh, in this um, diagram uh, there are two treatments diet a and diet b uh, so diet a is applied to uh, these five cases and diet B is applied to these five cases. However, in these out of these five cases, red mouse receives mineral supplement in diet A and black mouse receives uh, placebo in 
this group and same as uh, previous previous one in diet b in these five cases uh, red mouse receives mineral supplement and black mouse receives placebo so in this case there are two level of randomizations and two level of um, two factors so diet a and diet b is one factor and um, uh, mineral supplement or placebo is another factor so this is two factorial design and we have uh, used um, two different mouse in same cases to assign into that uh, different factor uh, so this becomes a split plot design and in this one um, we have to look at experimental unit in slight different way for example uh, for this factor diet a and diet b case is a experimental unit but for mineral supplement and placebo mouse is a experimental unit uh, so uh, whenever you have are trying to understand about experimental unit you have to really go into that experiment and understand what you are trying to achieve through experiment and what are your experimental unit i hope this uh, small video is um, is useful uh, to understand what uh, experimental unit is uh, in uh, and would be useful for your research uh, please feel uh, free to put your comments uh, down uh, down in this video and uh, please do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you for watching my video thank you